Well, hi, how is everybody today? In addition to my weight loss journey, I've also been on a face <laughs> journey, so to speak. Uh, I am 61 years old. I have been blessed with good skin. And the only thing I can say, it must be genetics. I don't think my skin is perfect. I do have some imperfections. Um, I've got some scar here and, you know, some hyperpigmentation that has actually started showing up recently in recent months. So um, I started doing some research and I thought I would try derma rolling. Okay to try and get some rid of some of these lines that I've had. Now, of course, I still have lines. It's very hard to get rid of them, actually, I think. Um, I think if you're diligent about it, you know, and just have all the time in the world to constantly, you know, derma roll, use your products and all that, it, it, it helps, okay? Um... You know, a lot of us have these lines. Now, a lot of women that I've seen on YouTube, you know, they try to figure out ways how to get rid of it. Some of them actually uh, say that laying on your back can actually help with these lines. Because if you sleep on your side like I do, I sleep on this side. And it tends to, you know, bunch up as you sleep. And then, of course, these lines come around your mouth. But anyhow, I started derma rolling, okay? This is an up uh, 0.25 derma roller, okay? It's very very tiny needles. Tiny tiny, you can't even feel them. Really. Some people even start, I think there's even smaller ones than these. But they suggest that you start out with 0.25. And what 0.25 does? Okay, it opens up your pores to enable your products to get in there better so that they will work a little better rather than without derma rolling. Important thing about this is every time you derma roll, be sure to soak this in alcohol before you use it and let it dry, okay? Because we don't want any bacteria getting into our skin, okay? I have actually graduated 2.5 because out of my research, I have discovered that 0.5 is the next size up that actually does work on these wrinkles and hyperpigmentation to improve them. But 0.25, you know, is a start, and basically what you do is you just roll it up and down. Ooh, it's chilly. It's got, I had alcohol on it. You just roll it up and down. Now, most people will do one section at a time. Like say they'll start here. And go about 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then they'll go across this way. And these do not hurt, okay? It's just, you know. So you go up and down, you go this way, and then you go at an angle so that you're getting every pore to open up. Now, the theory behind derma rolling is that it puts little tiny, tiny, tiny holes in your skin. I know that sounds scary, but not really. I mean, it's... Uh, a way to rejuvenate your skin, to open up these pores, and the cells will rejuvenate, okay? As your skin heals, the 
collagen rejuvenates and it comes up softer and plumper. That's the idea behind derma rolling. And so I'm telling you, just using this for, you know, about two weeks, people noticed a difference in my skin. And I did too. Because basically you're opening up your skin and you're putting on your products and they can get deeper in there to help with the wrinkles and such, okay? And basically you just do your whole face like that. I get impatient, so I just kind of do my whole face, you know? Like this. Now, the point two fives you can do this pretty pretty fast um, if you want. Probably shouldn't, but it's just the idea of, you know, opening up these pores and cells. Now, what I discovered was I was hoping that it would help with the hyperpigmentation. It can make your skin red, okay? Derma rolling may not be for everybody. It just depends on how your skin reacts. Some people are okay to do it. Some people have a bad reaction. Their skin is sensitive. I've been okay, though, thank goodness. Okay. So after I did this for about two weeks, I've decided not to do my chin anymore. Because it seems to have caused a little bit of damage. I kind of look like I've got pock marks on my chicken. My chicken. On my chin. <laughs> so um, I think I may have over rolled my chin. So I'm leaving that alone from now on. And you'll discover, you know, what areas on your face really are not The good places because it'll either hurt or you'll get a very strange reaction to it and what i was saying was apparently these 0.25s don't really affect the hyperpigmentation and the wrinkles they basically just you know open up the skin so that and i've discovered that this is very sensitive so i don't do this area And if you want, you can do your nose. My nose is sensitive, I've discovered, so I don't really do the sides anymore, okay? But with the 0.5s, I actually concentrate on my scars and my hyperpigmentation, okay? I am just demonstrating with this, 0.25. But in order to start working on the wrinkles, and the lines, you really need a 0.5 and up. With the videos that I have watched, dermatologists recommend that anything above one should be done in the doctor's office because those are a lot more powerful and they can actually make you bleed. Ugh. I'm not one to want to go and get myself bleeding, but some women are vain enough to want to do it, I guess. I'm not that vain. I mean, I'm sure I would like to look better, but I'm not about to go to the dermatologist's office and get my face rolled and have blood. I mean, to me, ugh, I don't know. To each his own, though, okay? And I do do my neck at times. I've noticed that my neck is very sensitive, okay? So I am I just do my neck not a whole lot because it actually stings afterwards. So I just may do a few. Some women really get into it and they do their whole neck. They do it on their chest. They do their arms, you know, just depending on what result they want, okay? But that's basically how you drum roll. You go up and down, you go sideways, and then you go diagonally to just open everything up, get those pores open. Now, with a 0.25, it is okay to put your products on afterwards, okay? 
dermatologists recommend that with a 0.5 and above that you wait, I want to say they said at least 12 to 24 hours before you put any product on your face. Okay, because your face is very sensitive and you don't want to overdo it. It could actually irritate your skin, okay? Now, as far as products, I use the Age Defying Oil of Olay Wet Facial Cloths, okay? And I love them. They're great. They clean off your face very, very well. These are the wet ones. These are the ones that you have to get wet. I have always been using the ones that are already wet, but because I am older and I am you know, concerned about my face. I got these because they claim to be a cleanser, exfoliator, moisturizer all in one. And I've had very, very good success with that. So after I do that, I do my derma rolling. And if I'm using the 0.25, I do use products afterwards, okay? So, uh, like once a week, I would derma roll, okay? And after I derma roll, I start using my products. I got this through Amazon, and I'm getting very good success. It's called MD Selections Retinol and Ferulic Brightening Serum, okay? It has a brightening agent in it, and the retinol is supposed to help with wrinkles, okay? So these come, I, I think most of these come in a dropper. And then basically what you do is you just, you know, put a little bit on each area of your face. And I do my neck as well. And then you just rub it in. I do put them under my eyes as well because I'm trying to brighten up these scars and such on my face. Okay. Oh, and I also derma roll my lips as well. I've noticed a big difference in my lips. They're plumper. They're much softer. And look how pink they are. Their actual color of my lips has come out and then I just do this and I've noticed such a big difference and you that's my cat kind of bothering me no No. I have a problem cat, so I have to use certain measures. And I'm telling you, if you have a problem cat, here's some more advice. Aggression or anything like that. A bottle of water really doesn't hurt them, but it's a good discipline. I use it. I mean, I don't get them in the eyes or anything. But, you know, when you start using this to enforce, you know, you don't do that, it really helps. All he has to do is see it now, and he runs. So, you know, you're not out to hurt your cat. You're just, you know, squirting water in their direction, because most cats don't like water. And he gets me a little nervous sometimes. But I think he's getting ready to lay down. So, yeah, I do my lips, and my lips are so soft. And I'm telling you, the difference has been amazing. Too bad I can't do anything for my teeth. I've had teeth problems over the years. But anyhow, that's how you derma roll. And then I put on my serum. Once the serum has dried, hyaluronic acid is also very important to help with wrinkles, okay? So what I get is the Olay Age Defying Advanced Moisturizer with hyaluronic acid, okay? I have always been an oil of Olay advocate. 
it's been amazing. Ever since I started using Oil of Olay, even though I have fairly nice skin, it has improved so, so much. And people who have watched me for the past couple of months have noticed the difference in my skin. I even put it on my lips. I mean, and it feels so good on your skin. So that is what I do for my skin. You might want to look back at some of my older videos just to see if you want to tell the difference. It's amazing. The difference is amazing. As I say, I've gone up to a 0.5 micro derma roller because they do a little bit more work than the 0.25s. I would start out with this though, just so you get used to it, okay? These really don't hurt at all. At all. Now, be aware, when I went to 0.5, I thought, oh my goodness, it was a lot more painful for me. It may not be for you, okay? But don't let it, don't let it deter you. If you really, really want to help your skin and you do have problems like I do, with the hyperpigmentation, scarring, wrinkles, I definitely would recommend it, all right? Some women actually use numbing agents, and they do make numbing agents, because, of course, you know, people who get tattoos, they put numbing agents on them, which I learned, because I don't know anything about tattooing, and um, I thought that was pretty interesting. And then I try to put a little extra in my lines here because hyaluronic acid is supposed to be very good for lines and wrinkles so every little bit helps <laughs> so there you go I hope that my um, video has been informative I'm 61 years old and people don't think I'm 61 years old but like I say, I think my my luck has been genetics. Um, my family, everybody I've known in my family on my dad's side has good skin. I don't know about my birth mother because she wasn't in my life from the time I was, I was three years old and up. But chances are that whole side of the family had good skin too. So I'm very pleased, and I've also been on a weight loss journey since May 16th. I've lost 16 pounds. I'm getting my dimple back, and a lot of clothes that didn't fit me last year fit me now. So that's been another great thing that's been happening to me because I am striving to make myself better, lose weight, take care of my skin, so that uh, I will look my best when I go on job interviews. So you all have a great day, and I'm hoping that you have a great day. And please, let's all be nice to each other. God bless.